the ultimate gentleman's hat. It is the Homburg. This model Optimo, where I get all my hats, most of my hats, they call it the Metropolitan. And it is for, with good reason, it is called the Metropolitan because it is such a polished hat. It gives you sort of just a very polished look. As I mentioned in the first segment, Churchill was particularly fond of these. He wore these everywhere, or he wore this everywhere. He wore a small, smallish humbug, which looked rather odd on his very large frame, but, um, this is something that all statesmen wore back in the day. Uh, if you went to the parliament, the British parliament, that is, back in the 30s and 40s, all the, well, I suppose what you would call the equivalent of the MPs, not the congressmen, that American, all the MPs, members of parliament, both in the upper and the lower house, the House of Lords and the House of Commons, they all wore. This was not quite mandatory, but it was a dress hat.